For Edwin Catmull, Tony DeRose, and Jos Stam and their pioneering work on subdivision surfaces, the Academy presents an upgrade, a scientific and engineering award. Gentlemen, please come to the stage. Thank you all. I have a <clears throat> new high technology for teleprompters. <clears throat> well, it works better this way. Um, my first class in graduate school was in computer graphics, and it completely changed my life. Uh, my project was to make a film of my left hand being animated. And um, I then went on to do my uh, uh, PhD work in uh, rendering curved surfaces, but I knew at the time that the techniques for representing organic shapes really sucked. <laughs> so I was trying to come up with a different way, and it was a side project. Um, and, you know, maybe two years later, in 1973, I finally had an idea that I thought would work. And I wrote it up. Um, and 18 pages of engineering green note paper <laughs> with the proof. And I gave it to one of my professors who was one of the originators of NURBS. And he looked at it briefly and he tossed it back to me and he said, Ed, what is this shit? <laughs> <clears throat> so I put it to the side for a while and uh, about three years later, Jim Clark and I wrote a, a paper on it. And then I went pretty much silent for a long period of time. But the reality is, as we develop, uh, representing organic surfaces still sucked. And a lot of people were starting to look at it. Uh, Tony was leading this group, and Charles came out of that group, and there was a lot of excitement. And um, I'm, I know that Tony then, starting with this idea, added some pieces to it that were important, which were having to do with creasing and making it more useful. Um, and then uh, Jos came along and was able to prove something and, and give representations which mathematically could connect it with the other tools that we had. Tony uh, joined us at Pixar, and his first project was to put it into uh, our filmmaking process for Jerry's Game, which was just meant to be a a test of new technology, but it was so successful that before the, the short was over, the uh, people making Bugs Life grabbed it and used it for all the organic shapes in, in Bugs Life. Um, and then Renaman adopted it, and then it became open source. Um, this is, uh, for me, this incredible journey. Never could have predicted any of it. Uh, I know that uh, it started about 46 years ago with an idea, and sometimes it just takes a lot of really smart people working on it from different points of view in different places, and a lot of patience. And if you do that, then you can end up with something that works. And I'm very grateful to the SciTech committee for recognizing this. I'm grateful for all the wonderful people along the way, and of course, the magnificent abilities of Tony and Yos. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd first like to thank my wife, Cindy. Um, she really sacrificed her career so that I can do what I do, and uh, I can't thank you enough for that. Um, Ed mentioned there were lots of contributors along the way. I'd like to uh, thank several of my really important co-authors. I'm thinking of Michael Cass, Tian Trong, uh, Mark Halstead, and Hughes Hoppe. I'd also like to thank the, the uh, SciTech and the DITS committee. I know how much work this is. 
Uh, so uh, thank you for your diligence. I know there was a lot of history to, to plow through. Um, Finally, I'd like to thank Ed uh, for creating an atmosphere at Pixar, an atmosphere really around the whole computer graphics industry um, that allowed this kind of work to happen. And finally, I'd, I'd just like to mention that you know, I grew up in the age of Apollo, and so that really inspired me to go into math and science and engineering. We don't have that today. We don't have those big, exciting public projects, but we do have this industry. And this industry is an inspiration to so many youngsters out there, so please keep doing what you're doing. I'll try to be brief. Uh, first, I would like to thank the Academy for giving me this award. Uh, secondly, I want to thank the company I used to work for called Alias, uh, the people behind Maya. Yeah, exactly. And so 20 years ago, when I was in the Seattle office, uh, we were looking at subdivision surfaces. And we, it, they were considered as something very strange. Okay? And our goal was to make them practical. And so I'm very fortunate had been part of this group and eventually went into Maya and it's very nice to see that it has been adopted in many products, in many movies. Uh, secondly, I want to thank my family, my parents, obviously I wouldn't be here without them, and um, they gave me a great kickstart in life. They let me do uh, art first and then my older brother told me to learn how to program. Okay. I was very cynical. He said, you know, you might get a good job for the summer. And then I got hooked, and that's also why I'm here. Uh, sort of combined my interest in art and science, and my science degrees went up as a, as a consequence. Um, actually, this award is dedicated to him. Fortunately, he's not with us anymore. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank my lovely daughter and wife who are here. Uh, for their love, of course, and for putting up with me. It's not easy. And I want to thank you guys. Thank you. Is that your wife who gave up her career? For, is that, that's you? Please, can we give her an, a round of applause? Beautiful, so beautiful. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. But before we part, oh, I know, I feel the same. <laughs> but before we part, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all the hard work you do behind the cameras and the computers. This business of filmmaking has always been rooted in the science of capturing an image and projecting it onto a screen. Everyone here keeps that heritage alive, but also we've just seen how you move the technology forward and aspire to make things better, because we can always do better. It's been fun and a thrill, and I can honestly say congratulations, you are all winners tonight. Thank you, and good evening. Thank you.